Okay. Well, Corey, we haven't met before, but I'm very happy to have this chance to talk with you here in Los Angeles. Well, thank you. Because I have long admired your work. One of my favorites, although I, I don't know that it's my most favorite, but one of my favorite things is Lucas. Thank you. Yeah, Lucas, um, Lucas turned out to be really just like, I guess, you know, a sweet movie. You know, it was... Uh, I don't know. It was. It turned out good. I was happy with it. You know, it was kind of weird. You know, oh, I'm gonna come off as a as a geek and nerd. You know, but it came out good. It came out as just like a little boy falling in love for the first time ever. You know, his dad's an alcoholic, and just um, being turned down. You know, he had to take that rejection, and he explained it in the way of Darwin. You know, the poet, and he had to explain it in his own way. And he's he was a rockin' little kid. You know. I'm looking at you, and I expected maybe we would see the red hair, the mahogany hair. Red hair was dinger. No, red <laughs> hair is gone. It's just black and short and kind of marine looking, I hope. <laughs> marine looking? Yeah, like a navy boy, like a good boy. <laughs> okay. Makes but, mom happy. <laughs> You've been acting a long time since uh, how many years now? It's been about uh, five years now. And uh, I assume that this is it for the rest of your life, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm over with. I'm Canada here. I can, no. Um, you know, I hope to act for a long time. I mean, I really do. I, to, I mean, I just want to be acting. And I just want, I like, I want to be like an English actor, because when you live in England and, and France and places like that, all they do is they just work. No matter what it is, no matter if it's a bad script, a good script, they work just to learn and to get the best they can and because they love work, if it's good or bad, you know? And I, I, you know, I'm, so, I'm so not so much into the bad part of it, but I'm, um, you know, I'm, I'm picky with my work, but I, I love working and I don't ever want to end, you know, my job as an actor. It's my, it's my whole life now. In this movie, you play a fellow who has a gimpy leg. I mean, he... He breaks his leg. Broke his leg, yeah. And is it true? I read that you actually did break your leg. Um, yeah, I, I, um, I did like a like a stupid little kid thing. I, I bought a moped, and like the tires on a moped are like this big. Um, you know, forget the rain. Just when it's a nice, beautiful, dry day out, you know, you can still wipe out because they're only this big. They're two inches. Uh, I said, you know, mom, drive it. And she's afraid to get up on a horse. My mom. So she got on the bike and um, went around a one-way street. She did fine. It was a circle, and then she went around again and it crashed into a wall at about 35 miles per hour. And I broke my leg and had a huge hole in it, cut my face, got uh, plastic surgery a little bit. Um, and she just bruised her nose. She came out good off the whole thing, sold the bike, and they wrote it in the movie. It was like a fluke. You, you'd already started the film? No, it was uh, two days. Uh, two days. I, yeah, I guess two days before the film started. And so then you were stuck with it for the whole, the whole film then, huh? Um, e yeah. Um, halfway through the film, I had to take the cast off. It's time to come off, and they had to mold, um, like four new casts on me to get the right one because of continuity, um, as a match kind of a thing. And it was kind of a pain, but it was fun, you know. <laughs> you are in this movie with. Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman, Jason Robarts, Alex Rocco, Piper Laurie, Susan Blake, Lee Meredith Salinger, and Harry Dean Stanton. It just goes on and on. Wonderful cast. Um, it's my third movie with Corey. Um, Lost Boys didn't know each other. Um, License to Drive, we made it so we can work together again. And Dream Little Dream was a total fluke that I got the part. I just walked in one day with my two friends and said, hey, you got a part for me? And he goes, yeah, I do. And I was like, what? You do? It was that kind of a thing. Um, as far as Corey goes, you know, I love him, he's my best friend, you know, um, and we've sat down and talked about how we don't want to do any more films together for a while because we're getting categorized as the two Coreys that can only work together now. And, um, you know, I, I want to be able to do my own thing, you know, so does he, and, you know, he's totally cool with that also, you know. On the set, both of you being named Corey, how do they differentiate? Hamster fell dog, if it ever got down to it. You know, I got this name a long time ago. What is it again? It, um, I got this name um, called the Hamster. Oh, the Hamster. Yeah, just like this <laughs> thing. And he got this name called the Fell Dog. Dog, and I and I named him Fell Dog. And Alyssa Milano named me the Hamster. Um, 
I don't know why we named each other those things, just all the kids, but it just happened like that. Um, and on the set, I, I was really sick, and I drank NyQuil, sneezing, sniffling, nighttime, coughing, aching medicine thing. <laughs> I know the whole thing. They called me Captain NyQuil on the set because I drank so much of it because I was so sick. And every day on the set, I was like always like drugged up from this thing, and I didn't know it would affect me like that. And it, it's a thing that has alcohol in it, you know? And I just started learning about it, and I had to take it, though. I was really, really sick. And they called me the elephant boy, the elephant kid, because I had my I had root canal, and I was at the hearing to the elephant man. I had all these different names, you know. Hey, come here, elephant boy, you know, or come here, Captain Nyquil. Just like, and they called him um, Corey or Fell Dog, one of the two. You know, it's fun. Corey, what do you say to uh, young actors, I mean child actors, when they come up to you and say, you know, I'd just love to be an actor, love to be in films, uh, love to do television. What do you say to them? Um, you know, there's not much I can say, but just go for it. You know, my career was a total fluke. You know, I didn't know I was going to be an actor. I wanted to be a hot, I wanted to be playing with Wayne Gretzky on the ice, you know. I mean, one day, just, I got this movie part called First Born, and from there, it just went on, you know, but, um... Well, you had done TV commercials or something, had you? Um, yeah, but that was, like, all flu... I did, um, a TV episode, a Canadian show called The Edison Twins. Um, and then I did, uh, two commercials, um, one for Sears and one for Furniture Bankruptcy thing, and it was, like, these funny commercials. It was really funny. What did you have to do? Well, the serious thing was a model thing where they casted these two people as my parents. And I was just laying there, just like going like this, like had to pull like a thing, just like look like all sexual on camera. And I was like a little boy. And then the other thing was a furniture bankruptcy, and it was like 10 below zero in Toronto, Canada. I had to stand outside with this um, newspaper hat on and a newspaper bag around me. And it's like extra, extra, read all about it. Furniture bankruptcy is going out, so come get it now before it's all gone, you know, and blah, a 30 second thing. And it was over, and I never saw either of them. Um, and then you were picked without an audition? Um, no, I had to audition, yeah. and then, you know, I got it. <clears throat> and then first born, um, one day there was an agent there at my agency in Toronto there, uh, Stanley Jaffe and Cherry Lansing were down there um, with Michael Apted, the director of this movie from Paramount, and I just got the part. And ever since then, I just, Stanley Jaffe called an agent he knew about here, said, please take this kid, you know, he's talented or whatever. And so it's like, I pretty much owe a lot, a lot, a lot of my career to Stanley Jaffe, you know? I mean, he got me an agent out here and he set me up and I moved out here because of that, you know? Well, Corey, we're, um, we've used up all of our time, Corey. but I have a feeling that we're going to be <coughs> meeting again and again. Hopefully, that would be very nice. And good luck with Dream a Little Dream. Nice to I meet you. I enjoyed you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks, Corey. <laughs>